the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with spirit. Dear friends, during this Mass, we like to remember and pray for the following intentions. We remember and pray for Father Kennedy Kakungal, Jerson Dizuzwa, Joshua Mukim, Daniel Adukar. These people celebrate their birthdays. We pray and remember and ask God's blessings on them today and every day of their life. We pray for the good health of Yuselia Karpan, Anida War, and for the family of Amazing Grace and Gloria for God's protection and care. We pray and offer this Mass also for the intentions of Javida M. Nongbet, who is preparing for examinations. We pray for the intentions of the Salesian Regional Superior. We remember also the departed soul of Moses Shabong. Let's also bring all other intentions that we have today. The second, we remember the feast of the guardian angels. Means each of us have an angel that looks after us and that is a feast that is instituted by Pope Pius in the 16th, 17th century. We remember and pray and be always assured that God's presence in the angels, through the angels is always behind us, leading, guiding and directing us in problems, in difficulties. Today also we celebrate the Gandhi Jayanti, 2nd October. We pray in a very special way for our nation, its leaders, that we may all live by the ideals that he showed and lived. Let's also remember today is also the first Friday of this month. We ask the Sacred Heart of Jesus commit ourselves, ask for a greater love for the Lord and for God's people. Let's fill ourselves with this grace that God gives, the gift of humility we pray for. Let's ask pardon for all our sins. I confess to you, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Lord, interceding for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord says this, I myself will send an angel before you to guard you as you go and to bring you to the place that I have prepared. Give him reverence and listen to all his, he says. Offer, offer him no defiance. He will not pardon such a fault, for my name is in him. If you listen carefully to his voice and do all that I say, shall, I shall be enemy to your enemies, foe to your foes. My angel will go before you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, My refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. It is he who will free you from the snare of the fowlers, 
who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you with his pines, and under his wings you will find refuge. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scorch that lays waste at noon. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach when you dwell. For you had been commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Gospel Acclamation Give thanks to the Lord, all his hosts, his servant who do his will. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Chapter 18, verses 1 to 5. The disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called a little child to him and set the child in front of them. Then he said, I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like the little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. See that you never despise any of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we remember this feast, the guardian angels. It is a teaching of the church that angels exist and we know the other day on 29th September we celebrated the feast of archangels who are higher in the rank and the guardian angels are angels, messengers or guards given to each of us, you know, like fathers of the church, St. Basil etc. teach us that each of us, each believer is given an angel to guard us, to direct us and guide us in God's ways. And I'm sure all of us have got that practice, especially when we move on journeys, travel, we pray to a guardian angel. And a prayer that we can always say that the guardian angel may lead and guide us. And sometimes when we are confused, sometimes we do not know directions, you know, it's always good and the guardian angel will pray and intercede for us. The reading of today that we heard the gospel and the first reading speaks about this, the presence of angels. The responsorial psalm, Psalm 91, that most of us recite, especially maybe a time like this, it speaks about the protection that God gives through angels. You know, he will guard you, guard your feet, guard you on your journeys, etc. It speaks about even devils, you know, devil quotes about angels when the devil comes to tempt Jesus, that is what he says. Jump down. Your angels will protect you, you know, lest you strike, quoting the same Psalm 91. Today is also a day when, especially in our solution practice, congregation, we remember and pray for brothers, assistants, sisters who look after the young people because they are, we are supposed to be like guardian angels, leading young, leading people to God. I believe that is a role that is given to each of us, you know, all of us, those of us in our ministry all the more, those of us in our families, wherever we are, we have this role of leading people. Each of us is an angel to another. 
meaning guiding, protecting, leading. And that is what the Lord tells us. Do not lead others away from God. No, we need to lead them to the Lord. Maybe there are times we are faint. We turn to the Lord and ask his pardon and mercy today, especially as we remember this sacred heart of Jesus, the first Friday. Coming to the gospel, it's the same reading that we read yesterday. Yesterday was from Luke. Today is from Matthew, speaking about greatest in the kingdom of God. Nothing but the Lord is giving us a simple example of a child asking for humility. I'm sure that is a virtue all of us need little more. Humility is nothing but giving God more place in our life, giving God the most important place in our life and placing others as important as God to us than self and my ego. And we pray for this grace that may happen to us in our life, in our practice. And as we take part of this Holy Eucharist, we want to pray that the Lord, you may direct us, you may guide us. And we will end today's reflection with this prayer to the guardian angel. Those of us who have never been used to this practice, when you are on journeys, when you travel, when you sit to do things, pray this prayer and I'm sure God will help us. Oh my good angel, whom God has appointed to be my guardian, enlighten and protect, direct and govern me, who have been entrusted to you by the divine mercy. Amen. Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we celebrate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just a duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your holy angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight to your surpassing glory and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through jesus our lord through him the multitude of angels extols your greatness and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice we praise as we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts have another earth of love for your glory Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord, Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, our bishops and all the clergy. Remember your servant Moses Shabong and all our near and dear ones departed, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us, O we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, the Martyrs, our Guardian Angels, St. Anthony, St. John Bosco, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced, eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it passes peace, I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's solve for each other God's peace. Let Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away all our sins. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. As we receive the Lord spiritually, sacramentally into us, we ask the Lord to pardon our sins. And in his mercy, in his precious body and blood, the Lord may pardon us, give us his kingdom, and always walk under the protection of his angels.
What has passed our lips as food, O oh Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with so great a sacrament, O oh Lord, direct us by the ministry of the angels into the way of salvation and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall say the divine mercy today during the adoration, being the first Friday. Blessed and praise be every moment. We ask the Lord to fill us with His grace, guided by His angels, that we may always walk in His love and mercy. We pray for Father Kennedy, Gerson D'Souza, Joshua Mukim, Daniel and Dakao, who celebrate their birthdays today. May the Lord bless them. Pray for the intentions and good health of Isilia Karpan, Anita Ward, and the family of Amazing Grace, Gloria, and Mira Dear Ones. We pray for Javida. Remember the intentions of Solution Regional Superior. We pray for our nation in a very special way as we celebrate Gandhi Jayanti. We pray for the departed souls of Panir and Jevan, especially Moses Shabong. Let's surrender all these prayers and ask the Lord to fill us with His love and mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, Lord, 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 I believe in Jesus Christ, Jesus is our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. We have the and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life of the last day. Amen. I offer you the body and blood of the Father. 
Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and shall be, world without the end. We pray for God's protection and mercy on us, as we say, Most merciful and triumph God, who come to you in our weakness. We come to you in our fear. We come to you with trust, for you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, 
you understand and decide this and talk a few words with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill, protect those who are most at risk, give comfort to those who have lost a loved one, welcome those who have died into your eternal home, stabilize our communities, unite us in our compassion, remove our fear from our hearts, fill us with confidence in our care. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. Pray to the Holy Family. Jesus, Jesus Mary, Mary, and Joseph, Jesus. you will contemplate the center of truth to return with us. Holy Family of Master. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. As we've been announcing, we will be starting our masses from Sunday, weekdays two masses, morning seven, evening six, and Sundays three, morning seven, nine o'clock, and evening six. Uh, for the masses, the you need to kindly register. For this Sunday, we will be putting the link, an online link along with the mass of today for that is a nine, seven o'clock nine o'clock and evening six kindly fill up your details it's a google form so you know the details required then if you have not entered your details when you come there will be a register kept outside the grotto kindly fill in confessions as per the directives have been uh, told we will not be having a confession as regular but we shall see how it goes on some masses begin i would also tomorrow mass when we celebrate we'll be specially praying for there is a community a group that was behind you had seen we have seen for the last four five months the online mass of course i stand here but there is there is a crowd there is a group that is behind singing the sisters from here from the college sisters from st margaret's students who are reading and others who helped us in the grotto we will offer this mass for all of this community this group that was behind that they be blessed we have people of all size small kids many had reading practice it was an opportunity that they learned and the daily mass what you were many have been asking me thanking me i'm sure more than you no know, let us pray for all this young small and big people who came behind and supported for this mission in the last few months i'm sure god will bless them and tomorrow mass we will be offering specially for this group that helped us for managing this last months of online mass and helping us in every day god bless you the mass is ended go in peace thanks be to god